remember times when the computer used to look like that? If yes, I can guess your age. <laughs> Despite the fact that computer was just a powerful calculators and tax processors, people still considered them as intellectual creatures and expect from them human-like behavior. Maybe because they look so extremely smart from outside. Uh, one of my friends used to amuse me. He screamed at the computer and slapped the monitor every time the computer was not able to understand what he wanted. Of course, it is a kind of extreme and a bit violent example of human response and misunderstanding. Over years, prehistoric powerful calculators and tax processors evolved a new type of creatures with a wide range of capabilities, and we call them smartphones. Smartphones became our daily life assistants. And actually, we interact with our smartphones in a completely different way than with our desktops and laptops. And the big difference is that the smartphones are equipped with a sensor screen. And actually, smartphones can collect much more richer data about your interactions. I must say that my smartphone is now thousand times, or maybe a uh, yeah, thousand times more powerful than my first computer I had when I just started my journey in computer science about 15 years ago. And this wide range of capabilities allow us to use phones everywhere. They are helping us when we're driving, oh, when we're cycling, and yes, when we're driving. Nevertheless, it's not allowed by law, but we still use our phones when we're driving. And even sometimes when we're with friends, and even during the date, especially if it goes not that well. <laughs> and actually, you must likely spend with your mobile devices more time than with your loved ones. And it actually holds for the different generations. A huge time per day you interact with your phone, but the question still remains. Do you always have a mutual understanding with your phone? Basically, did we solve the problem of my friend? Can phones understand our emotions, or are they still just unanimated machines? Let's look at how phones see us. They can understand that you're doing some activities, like you're searching for something, or you do online shopping, or you're navigating, but they cannot understand your emotions. Imagine you talk to the person who doesn't have a face, who has a blank circle instead of the face. Would it be difficult to understand what person wants? I think yes. And it's completely different when we talk to the humans, when we interact with the humans, we can easily understand human emotions. And here I see a misconception. Because we spend so much time with our phones per day, we interact with them continuously. Nowadays, we even can have a dialogues with our phones using the intelligent assistants installed. And they actually reply to us in quite intellectual way. But problem is still there. Even our most sophisticated technology is not able to understand our emotions when we are happy or where we are, when we are not happy about our experience. When I just started my PhD, I was wondering how to give smartphones an ability to understand what people think, what people feel. What do we need to take into account to make phones more empathic? What do we still miss? And once it's actually realized, touches. Touches, that's what we need. And I'm not saying that from perspective, when you use, uh, when you use your touches as a substitution on your desktop mouse, 
but in perspective of the basic form of human communication. When we're talking about the, uh, about the emotions conveyed through touches, the animals can perfectly understand that, and our phones still don't. Look at that. What do you think it is? Do you think it's just the random scratches I'm showing to you? How about now? So it's a, a fingerprint of your interaction with the phone, the swipes. And they actually tell us something, but what? Of course, one person was a left-handed and second person was a right-handed. And most likely, if you're left-handed and a mobile application designed for right-handed people, you are not happy about your experience. Who is a left-handed here? Have you ever seen the application that would react to your behavior and assist you accordingly? No? Me neither. F looking far beyond the simple example, our research proved that we need to analyze touches to understand user emotions on mobile devices, on our smartphones. The patterns, like the consistency of the swipe, like the pattern of the swipe, and the angle of the swipe, and many, many others. And this gives phone ability to decrypt your emotions, to understand you, to assist you. We all know that our touching behavior is highly dependent on the circumstances. When we are cycling or we are driving, our behavior is different. But fortunately, all our phones are equipped with tons of sensors which are, reflect device movements, like orientation, acceleration, and many others. Processing these additional signals help us to understand what the situation of the user right now. And basically, using that, we can increase the accuracy of the measurements of user happiness. We finally reach the point when we have enough knowledge to train smart and powerful algorithms to build a model to predict user emotions on the devices, on mobile devices. And the outcome will make phone empathic. Our technology has many important implications. For example, we now can measure directly the user happiness when you're using some particular application or operation system and use this important and extremely precise feedback to improve your experience, to make your life better. For example, we can just adjust on the fly the application according to your circumstances or according to your emotional state. And it's nice that it actually works the other way around. The companies who are developing the applications actually finally have ability to understand what you feel about the applications. In the near future, the new generation of empathic devices coming. And they would be equipped not just with the accelerometer, but they would be equipped with embedded happy meters. These empathic devices will understand what you feel and think, what you need to assist you accordingly and hopefully to make you happier. And that will be not just the smartphones, they will be empathic assistants. Thank you.